Hi everyone and welcome back to CRGTI channel. So this video will continue to the previous video. I will talk about the material you prepare in Medina Pen Pro uh, before you starting to draw your uh, comic. Uh, so first, before you starting to making your material, you must thinking about what kind of comic you intend to draw, what type of this, that is black and white or color comic. Okay, so if you are working in a color comic, you better prepare for the palette. You can see that <coughs> I have the palette box in here. I will drag it and open it. Okay, now you see that here I will have a palette box. Why? Because you know that the character in here will have some color that will repeat and repeat again. And if you not have a palette in here, just like uh, this is. Uh, his colors here, the hair color of this cat. If I didn't repair this one, uh, maybe I will pick a different color for the next time and different color for the next time, and it will look kinda is not. It's really different every time. It's not unique. So you better repair for the palette if you work for in color comic. How to create the palette? It's just simple. Okay, you will. Choose a drop button here. Click to the color uh, that you want to create for the palette here, and then you can see it will pick the color right here. Then you go to there. You can see that the button here that's the add color. Now you can rename this one like a skin color or whatever it is, and then click OK. You can see that the colors will appear in here. A box appear in here. That's really your color in the palette. Next time when you want to draw something, you just click to this color. Maybe a uh, return. Imagine that I change the color to another color in here, and I want to go back this color. Just click it once. You can see. Let's go back to the right color here, and I just starting to paint it like this. Okay, that's it. How we repair for the. Uh, color comic, and if you are working for black and white, it's kinda a little bit more complex. You better have your own note because you know that when you work in black and white, you maybe have a tone, uh, just like here. I have a tone right there, like the dot tone here, like this, and a lot of texture. You want everything look not different, like uh, in this panel, this character wear this textures and. In the next panel, you make the character with another texture. It's not. It looks so different. How can a character can uh, change the color in just two panels like this? Time cannot fly fast. So uh, just like that. Okay. So when you repair this one, you can see that uh, in the the. Material box in here. You click in here, and it will appear in the material box for you guys. So you can add the text to to the uh, comic page. You see that we'll have the code name here. You better note the code name for the character. Just like if the character in here, I use this dot. I will write the corner empty zero 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 one here and ten percent here. So next time I will pick the same one, just like the same texture here, and uh, in case you think this kinda too long, you can rename this one by double click to the button here and write it again or whatever like small dot like this and enter as will change to the small dot kinda like this and you just. Need to remember about this name and go back to send the use the same uh, texture for the character. That's it. That's it. Material you repair for your character. And uh, one more thing is here that I recommend that you guys better repair the background for the character if that background will repeat uh, in this page and in another page. Maybe this will. Appear in this chapter, but it will also appear in another chapter. Just like the story in here, the story about the cat here. That uh, the environment about this story is not really too large. It's kind of small. Appear uh, the the story will happen around a, a small town, and 
around my house so that's why I decided to brown the background uh, of the place around my house in here so when I need that one I just drag and move the background to the panel that I wanted to appear in here and I don't need to redraw it again why I do like this I must say you guys that if you work like a pro uh, you better uh, repair this one to reduce the time when you're working on the comic uh, because you know you have a schedule the deadline uh, you're working on like you maybe you will have two chapters for one week and maybe one chapters for one week so with the time schedule like this you with those things like this digital comic uh, will help you a lot you can just paste it in here and don't need to draw again I know that some Korean uh, artists they also create the pictures of the character like you know that we will have a new page in here and have the character angles this angle will repeat again and again in the page so they just draw the character in different here with a transparent background and later they just copy this one and put into the panels so and I recommend you guys that do the same like this because the character if you put in the same the same and as um, the reader uh, the audience I feel it's kind of annoying because feel like the author it don't put the effort on this one but you know sometimes you must do that because of time schedule so uh, you can repair the material uh, at least the background will help you a lot because the background is not changing a lot here uh, and maybe you can make a lot of angle of the background and uh, that yeah will reduce your time so that is about the material when you are working on a uh, comic on medibank so the next thing i will talk in this videos that how to add this to the mask to this one okay so i will open this page this is the page that I draw this comic, okay? And you can see that the background here in this page. You can see the background I already have here is don't have the sky, okay? So uh, the color is just the flat color, not much things in here. And now I want to uh, put it into the environment that's in the nighttime. So how I work with that? Let me turn it off. Okay. Here first, you will copy this background. Uh, you will select this one. You can use Control or Command A, and then, uh, or you maybe can use this one. Select tone, whatever you want here to select this background, the whole background here, and then you paste the background into this one and you see that because okay okay after you I paste it in here you see that's it the background I have I already draw and now I will use control or command T or you can go to um, let me see select and transform here so I can enlarge the background here so it can fit to uh, the panels and just Enlarge this one and move it to there. Enter and you can done the resize work. Now it still have a lot of part that outside of the panels in here. I will turn off this one and also turn off others layers in here. And I use one tool to select outside part in here. I hold shift to select on the panels here just uh, leave the panel that the background will appear in here and then I open the layer that have the background I just copy in here and now I click delete button delete it and deselect by holding control or command with D then you can see that appearing here that is in the background okay so the next thing that I will do that you see that I want this will be the, in the night time so I will click use the one tool to click to the part in here 
and of course uh, this part will be showing the sky so I select all the part that is showing the sky okay hold in shift and use one tool to select this one remember to choose expand to one pixel or else will leave you a small blank space here and I really hate that one now I will create a new layer and go to the material box choosing tone here if you different find the tone that you fit you can go to the cloud Okay, I already made the video about the material box in here, so uh, you can watch this later. Now I'm finding the starry sky texture and move it to there. You can see it's really fit, and I think that's the okay. You can zoom in and zoom out the, the tone until you're satisfied with the result, and then click OK. Now I will deselect, and you see that's the result we have. But it still have something that uh, have had a lack of some things in here, and I think that's because don't have the light and have the feeling that is dark place. So, in this is layer ten, right? The background, and I will create a new layer. Choose clipping, and I choose multi multiply. And then uh, because it's in night time, so it must be a cool color. So I will choose a cool color, kind of blue here, and use and this is a few tool and drag it. Okay, this is kind of too cool for me, so I will holding Control Command with you, or you can go to filter and choose hue saturation box in here. Now this time that we will work a little bit with the hue and saturation box and move it to the color that you feel it is right and okay this is kind of perfect for me okay and when I done it here I click the color and feel on the place I think it's still not enough This is a kind of okay for me, so now I will erase some things. Maybe this part here. Okay, this is great. Use one tone and delete this one to make it appear a little bit more here. A little bit. And a little bit here. Like this. Of course, I want to have the light in the, the, the lamp here, so I will create a new layer and choose clipping. Uh, the light uh, from the lamp will be uh, kind of yellow, and I will use airbrush, this one. Enlarge the size a little bit, and draw like this. Okay, have a little bit effect around this part. Like this, and you done the night time. That's how we work. Uh, remember about clipping and uh, the blending. Choosing the blending here. Maybe you want to use lighter or whatever uh, blending you think that will fit for this one, or just leave normal if you want. And when you are done this, you can see that will be the result that I have here for the character. Okay, that's it. That's it. When you're done and finish everything here. So that's how we work with the material. You can create the background in separate uh, image, separate file, and then you copy and put it in here. Then you can work with that, and maybe you can use that one again and again. So that's it all about this video and preparing stuff. The next video, I will show you guys the ways that I drawing the comic page from the beginning to the end with Medibank Pen Pro. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.